Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you our 5 inches capacitive touch screen. There are some useful information on the package. On the, on the left you can find the parameter. On the right you can see the system and the device is supported. Inside there are the product introduction and the user manual. Before you use it, please take off the uh, protective film. And it's very easy to remove, like this. And first, let's test on my Raspberry Pi. All you need to do is hook up the USB cable to the Raspberry Pi. It's also a HDMI cable. And the USB cable also uh, also is a power supply cable for the touch screen and uh, you can hook up the micro usb cable to power it on <coughs> oh don't forget to adjust the resolution when using the raspberry pi as reminded in the user guide and i have already change the resolution to the right configuration so you can see the uh, correct screen okay and here comes a desktop you can uh, check the movement when you touch it it's so flexible and uh, responsible can you see that okay let's uh, open terminal and close it and tap on somewhere and close it and also let's try uh, surf the internet okay let's open a browser okay let's find a search engine okay all right okay you can see that it's very flexible and easy to use you don't have to uh, do any uh, calibration stuff some something like that okay okay let's turn on turn it off and the next one is to try the BeagleBone Black. It's also a development uh, board for all of the makers. Okay, let's hook up the uh, BeagleBone Black. Okay, uh, you need a converter to convert the HDMI cable. Okay, it's a very, very tiny cable for the HDMI. I hook up the HDMI USB cable and also the power supply. And it may take a, a, a take a while. Okay. For putting up, and when it's putting up, you will see that there are also a desktop, and you don't need to, to uh, do any calibration stuff. Okay, it's worked well. It's worked properly. All right. You can see that it's flexible. Is that right? And let's turn off the system. Okay.
shut down the system and select shut down. Press yes. Okay. And let's waiting for uh, for it help uh, shut down. And it may take a while. After that, remove the Beagle Bomb Black, and uh, I'm I'm going to test on my PC, on my laptop. Uh, here is my laptop, and uh, uh, with Windows operating system. Uh, let me log in and uh, hook up the HDMI cable and the power supply and also you can use this screen as your secondary monitor so that you can just use one finger to control your items up and down and you can drag all of you uh, drag the items around your screen at the same time it's uh, support 10 maximum 10 point multi-point touch okay and also you can drag the items to to the task bar so that it will hide it in the menu at the same time, if you want to zoom in or zoom out the uh, picture, you can use two, two, of, two of your fingers, just like this. It's very easy to use, okay? And uh, it's flexible. At the same time, you can use your uh, on-screen keyboard as a tablet. You can just type in the character on your screen, just like this. It's very sensitive, okay, and uh, responsible. All right, that's. Drag them to the task menu. Okay. Something like that. Okay. So, <clears throat> if you mm, you have a, a Macintosh or something else, you can test it on your Macintosh laptop. And here is my. Uh, MacBook Pro. So all I need to do is hooking up the HDMI cable and the power cable. It also has the same functional. It's work. It work properly on my work on my Mac. Okay. very easy to use all right that's all thanks for watching hope you like this video bye bye